All right, Scotty, would you lead us in a pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your blessings. Pray, God, that you'd be with those that uh, continue to struggle uh, in our community, those that are sick. Uh, Lord, we just pray that you would help them. Pray for the, our first responders, uh, our EMS, our fire, our frontline workers in the hospitals, uh, clinics, Lord. We just uh, ask God that you would give them strength and stamina and protection uh, from this pandemic. Uh, we pray for all the citizens of our county. Uh, Lord, just help and protect, and, and we pray that uh, this pandemic will go away. We pray that you would be with us. Give us wisdom today uh, to do your will, and we ask it in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Thank you, everyone. Um, <clears throat> want to welcome everybody. Wow, that sun is right, <laughs> right in my face. Moved just in time for me to <laughs> that time of year. Nice. So, yeah. So, uh, anyways, we want to welcome everybody to the October 21st meeting of the Board of Saudi County Commissioners. Uh, we do want to open up the meeting by approving the minutes of October 14th. And uh, if they have been reviewed and approved, or feel like they need approved, we get a motion to do so. I'll make a motion to approve. I will vacate the chair to second. Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. And the matter requests for appropriation of funds. Are there any questions or comments in regards to appropriations? Hearing none. Make a motion to approve. Second. Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. And the matter requests for appropriation transfer of funds. Getting a lot of transfers this time of year. Everybody's trying to make their money fit and their budgets. So, uh, questions or comments in regards to item three? Hearing none. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. And the matter of accepting miscellaneous reports? Questions or comments in regards to the miscellaneous reports? I thought the, uh, the the obligations and security portfolio looked good for the county as far as the investments in Star Ohio uh, and Raymond Jane continues to look good. Mr. Ogg's doing a good job with that. Are there any questions or comments? Make motion to accept. I'll second. Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. And a matter request to attend meetings? Questions or comments in regards to item five? Make a motion to approve. Second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of notification from the Ohio Division of Liquor Control regarding Malata Wheelersburg, Inc. doing business as Cash Stop. Where is Cash Stop? It's up on Dogwood Ridge? Yes, 1280 Dogwood Ridge. Did they purchase? Ridge Mini Mart? Yeah, okay, I'll send it. That's it. It's a transfer. All right. Yeah, any questions or comments in regards to its transfer? Mm -hmm. Hearing none. Make a motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In a matter of agreement between Scioto County Commissioners and Scioto County Job and Family Services regarding Scioto County Work Experience Program? Uh, this is for the WEP program, of course. and. Uh, this is a cooperative agreement for the Saudi County Work Experience Program web that helps provide work experience and training for participants to self-sufficiency through employment. The agreement terms are effective 10-1-2021 to 9-30-2022. Is there any questions in regards to item 7? Hearing none. Make a motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. And a matter of communication from the Saudi County Prosecutor's Office regarding the 2021-2022 State Victims Assistance Act, Victims of Crime Act funding. This is a grant award and acceptance of the Victims of Crime, VOCA, uh, VOCA, State Victim Assistance Act, SVAA, funds for the fiscal year 2021-2022. Uh, the VOCA award is $0 and the SVAA award is $71,926.52 with no cash match. This is something that Shane, uh, I'm sorry, Prosecutor Seaman uses uh, to help with uh, victims of, of crime, uh, to help them um, in their, well, in their time of need, really, um, immediately following and sometimes uh, after. Um, any questions or comments in regards to? 
Hearing none. Make a motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. And the matter of notification from the Ohio Department of Taxation regarding permissive sales tax. Um, permissive sales tax continues to be strong in the county. Um, I don't know how many months we've had of positive gains. Uh, it is up uh, ninety thousand two hundred nineteen dollars and ten cents. Um, the July twenty twenty one is that July or is this August? August. It's August. Okay. August 2021 sales local 823 558.99 sales actual 411 781.19 for a total of $1,235,340.18 in uh, permissive sales tax and uh, as I mentioned that is up um, 90,000 Wait a minute. These don't, these don't match. These numbers don't match. The sheet on the back is correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. Um, it's up more than 90. Am I, am I correct on that? With If it's 1,085,590 for 2020? The monthly total was one million one hundred and seventy five thousand eight hundred and nine dollars and fifty eight cents. So compared to this time last you year, said number nine's right uh, on the on the brief. The it says million two thirty five. This says million one seventy five here. Which one's right? It's on. Huh? <laughs> OK. Here. I didn't do those notes. So this number and this number is this number. So that's what right. it's up. So this so is just this wrong. Is last year. This is all wrong. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I didn't do those notes. So okay. <laughs> all right. Um, all of the breakdown <laughs> that I gave for August 2021, as far as the sales local, sales actual is wrong. Uh, sales local is 783-874-81. Uh, sales actual is three ninety one nine thirty four seventy seven for a total of one million one hundred and seventy five thousand eight hundred nine dollars and fifty eight cents. Uh, it is up ninety thousand dollars, ninety thousand two hundred nineteen dollars and ten cents. I thought there was something wrong. I just I couldn't figure out which one was right. But yes, that is uh, that is correct. Sorry about that, everybody. And uh, with that's that, new that's, that's, that's it's new fuzzy. Math. It's fuzzy. Yeah. Anyways, um, motion. Do we have a motion. To I'll second. Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. In a matter of resolution regarding the expenditure of American Rescue Plan fiscal recovery funds regarding EMA truck. Um, on this particular resolution, uh, EMA is looking to, to get a truck, um, $33,900. This is a, a large truck. Um, it's, a, it's a panel truck to be able to transport materials. Uh, it is also a refrigerator truck. Um, and with that, can we get a motion to? Uh, I will make the motion to adopt. I will second. Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. I will add, we appreciate Larry um, and have foresight into needing this, this extra truck and um, being prepared should, should we get hit with yet another um, Disaster. It's not necessarily something we Pandemic, like something to really talk about. Yeah. Um, I mean, refrigeration could, and truck, even for extra morgue access. Yeah. Um, transporting frozen foods to yeah. transporting non frozen. Um, for instance, we have handicap ramps out front that we're going to be having to transport back <laughs> uh, when we get the ramp done. Right. So we got to get them back. And we transported them down on a flatbed trailer from three and a half hours away and um, yeah that was not fun yeah. so um, anyways we it, it is foresight the other thing is is if we would have a disaster at one of our plants god forbid we ever have something like that a mass casualty event or something like that um, you know that it's not something we like to talk about but it's something that's necessary and we do not have um, but this is in preparation for, and we're able to use ARPA dollars for that. So, um, yes, and we'll move along. Um, motion. Did you make We've already done that. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, 
Let's move along. Number 11, yes. in the matter of accepting meeting minutes. Um, questions or comments in regards to 11? Make a motion to accept. Second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of request for fund transfers? Questions or comments in regards to 12? Hearing none. Make a motion to approve. Second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of accepting an amended certificate from the Budget Commission? Questions or comments in regards to the $43.80 local coronavirus relief fund adjustment? No. Okay. Hearing none. Motion to accept. All right. I'll second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of approving payment of the regular schedule of accounts for the various funds, moral obligations, and the then announced certificates in the total amount of $738,369.09. Uh, questions or comments in regards to item 14? Hearing none. Make a motion to approve. I uh, will second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. Mr. Powell, would you have anything in addition? Uh, yeah, so uh, we've been talking about this for a while. We've had posts about it, our pump track opening is October 30th. It is our Hallow Wheels Spectacular. Uh, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of great community partners that will be setting up the event. Um, Connects will be giving out 50 free bicycle helmets uh, to the first 50 kids, which is awesome. Uh, King's Daughters Medical Center will be um, awarding bicycles to the top uh, Halloween costumes. We are making this a Halloween theme. Uh, our community partners will have candy for trick-or-treating. Um, of course, we'll have the pump track, which is the main main attraction there. Um, and we've been talking about this for a while, but I was reading an article. I was reading an article just um, this morning about pump tracks, and the World Championship happened in Lisbon, Portugal. And one of the competitors in that World Championships had never left her country or her village city area, had only ever competed on her local pump track, a Velo Solutions pump track, which is what we're building, and was good enough just off that one track to go to the World Championships. Um, the, there's a lot of excitement around this, especially in the biking world, uh, what it does to for the local community, but also tourism is going to be huge. Um, once again, it's the only Red Bull certified track in the state of Ohio. Um, mm -hmm. So we're, we're excited about it. it. It's looking good out there. Um, once again, October 30th, uh, bring your kids, trick or treat. They'll already be ready to go at five o'clock for trick or treat that night. Uh, but there'll be a lot of uh, biking events and games and um, just a good time. So are you gonna be competing at the next Pump Track World Championship? Is that what you're getting at? I you're, can neither you're gonna, you're gonna be out there or deny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, didn't, I didn't know. I mean, you could get really good on our track, and well, or we could just have the world championships here. Uh, we could. Uh, yeah. It is certified where we could. We can have <laughs> qualifiers. Um, one of the top people this year had only been mm -hmm. riding pump tracks for one year. Is that right, yeah. Jen? She's only 17 years old. 17 year old that had only been riding for one year. And that was the women's champion. The champion. Yeah. She, was, she was the women's champion? Woman, yeah. Wow. So uh, it's not unheard of to say that somebody from Soda County could one day compete in the world championship why not and they i mean they're all over it's a week-long event if they make it it's paid for 100 percent. they compete like i said portugal sweden france china wherever wherever they're at so it's a it's it's a neat thing i know one of the guys over there he's like 28th or 29th in the world ranked one, one of the top ranked in the world he's like this is my favorite track the one oh, that they're building right now. He said it's 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 the favorite design, favorite layout. So I, yeah, that'd have a good time. And I probably Kids should mention we, we've been talking about Tommy Zula coming. He was a 2020 world uh, world champion, 2019 world mm -hmm. champion, right? From Dayton, Ohio. Um, congratulations to him. He's getting married, and with marriage comes um, planning from your spouse. Uh, I'm sure. So unfortunately, he's not going to be able to make it. Um, but congratulations to him. Uh, he had a good showing at Worlds. I think he placed fifth. fifth was that right? Yeah, he was yeah. knocked out on Still the had a good showing, um, but he's a local guy, so I'm sure we'll see him around. But we have other pros that will be there uh, to show this thing off. So. Okay, great. Anything else? That's an offer now. Uh, there, yeah, absolutely. And we would encourage everyone, um, I guess it's going to rain today, but get out, enjoy the uh, farm festivals that are going on all across the county. Yeah. Get out and uh, enjoy the outside, outdoors. And uh, along with the pump track um, dedication on the 30th, 
We've got a lot of food trucks coming for that. Uh, great assortment of food trucks. So if you like food trucks and you want to get out in the park, um, 200 acres of fun. Go out there and enjoy the, the park and enjoy everything it has to offer. Um, the big thing we're stressing is get outside. Get outside and enjoy the sun while you can because uh, winter's coming. So. And since you mentioned the food, food trucks, something I'd like for this, uh, this board to look at is a permit um, situation. Um, if somebody wants to set up a food truck, two food trucks maybe, whatever parameters we put on that uh, for the park, I think that would be a nice, have a food truck alley or something out there uh, during the summer. And, and I'm not even thinking something, a, a large permit fee or anything, but just a way to control that, you know, if we have one or two out there, it makes it worth their while to go out there and uh, service that community and uh, the folks there at the park. So I think something we, we really need to be looking at. It is becoming more of a destination. Yeah. When you do that, you, you have a lot more responsibilities. So yeah. it's something we definitely have to look at. So, all right, um, at this time, we want to go to the press. Um, Nobody? Press. All right. And as All you can right. see, the press just, just doesn't like to show up anymore. So I don't know. They're watching. They always write reports on what they see. So well, uh, no, we no, always I'll, like to I'll interact directly. Well, uh, Soda County Daily News at 1 today at the pump track, talking about the pump track. And then WSAZ has reached out to do uh, coverage of it as well. So uh, we will be getting more information out. Good deal. Good deal. All right. Okay. Um, Visitors, ladies first, nothing, all day, all right. And then we do have some visitors, uh, Steve Ruggles and, <coughs> and Bobby Cole. Um, and they, they were, did I get that right? Kenny, Kenny I'm sorry. Steve, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, Kenny. My goodness, sorry about that. I, I totally messed that up. But um, they represent, I, I know Bobby's with the Plumber Supply Fitters and you're with? I'm with Plumber Supply Fitters International. Oh, okay, all right, okay. I thought you were, yeah, yeah, I thought, I, I knew you were. Um, so with that, um, do you have a microphone? That, that whichever one would like to speak first. Um, or do you want to say Go right that? ahead. Okay, great. Oh, okay. We do have a meeting at uh, 10.30? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool, all right, okay. Okay, well, um, then that, that'll that be fine. Is there anything else for the good of the order? Nothing, Robert. Robert, you got anything? Okay. All right. Okay. Um, again, um, enjoy the weather this weekend. It's going to be cooler, but it's going to be nice. Get out. Um, I think we're going to start seeing fall present itself in a big way uh, here soon. Fall is behind. They fall falling behind. And uh, but there's a lot to do. Get out and enjoy all the different activities and um, enjoy your community. And uh, you know, uh, let's continue to pray for those that are sick. They're still. Uh, I think we have 600 and some active cases still in the county. Not to be a Debbie Downer or Donald Downer, but we just we need to continue to pray for people and uh, continue to really really pray for our EMS. Um, our, our EMS and our fire are stretched to the max right now. They really really need um, our thoughts and prayers, and 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 they uh, are are dealing with a lot of difficult situations. And everybody needs to understand that. Um, but we we just need to do all that we can to lift them up at this time. Uh, even though the cases are reducing in the county, um, it has been a hard, hard haul. It really has. So let's really, let's really be thinking of them. And if you see somebody out, you see a first responder, you see someone works at the hospital, you see, and, and it's everybody. It's not just the nurses. It's not just the doctors. It's everybody that works um, in our, our health care. Um, pat them on the back. Tell them you appreciate them. Really, just let them know that you really appreciate them because we don't always understand exactly what they're dealing with and it is a hard thing right now uh, that they're dealing with and um, yeah so when you don't see a light at the end of the tunnel necessarily um, our, i'm talking nursing homes i'm talking hospitals everybody just let them know you appreciate them because they have a very very hard job right now so uh, with that um, can we get a motion i'll give you a motion to adjourn i will second mr powell hi mr davis hi thank you everyone